What is up, guys? Welcome back to SmackDown. And as always, we get right into the match card as Elias will take on Robert Roode. Pete Dunne, the number contender for the WWE Championship, this Sunday, or next, I have no clue, will be challenging Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. But tonight he takes on Sami Zayn and these three matches we always will be doing. Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. Winner will get their rematch for the Intercontinental Championship at Unforgiven. So winner fights Johnny Organo at Unforgiven. And now we have the Revival versus the Usos. Dusty Cup match. I was thinking of what it would be. Would it be the be quarterfinals, I believe? Finals of the quarterfinals. Whoever wins will take on Kings of Wrestling at Unforgiven. I was mistaken. We'll take on Kings of Wrestling at Unforgiven. But next... Next SmackDown, the winners of At Unforgiven will take on Triple H and Shawn Michaels in the finals of the Dusty Cup for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships in the main event. But that's next week's main event, the finals of the Dusty Cup. But in tonight's main event, we have John Cena taking on Velveteen Dream. But also, John Cena has went straight to Vince McMahon, not even Triple H, and has... Want, has declared a match for Unforgiven. Cena and a partner of his choosing taken on the NWO, Velveteen Dream, and Shinsuke Nakamura. And when it gets time to that main event, I will be happy to announce who Cena's partner will be. But as in tonight's main event, so stick around to see who John Cena's partner will be at Unforgiven. But let's get to these matchups. Elias versus Robert Roode. Elias. Picking up the win. Pete Dunn looking to gain some momentum. Pete Dunn defeats Sami Zayn. But let's get into this number one contenders match. Oh, the crowd waiting for the big dog. Not favoring him either. Kind of ju jumped Gargano. After his match with AJ Styles, livid that he even has to earn this shot. But he must well, let Greg Hamilton finish. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has to defeat the man he de took the title from. And that is Bobby Lashley. Can Roman do it once again? What a shocker at Royal Rumble it was when Johnny Gargano made Roman Reigns tap out. Gargano just kept kicking out of Spears. Roman could not put that man down. And that is why every time he comes out, Johnny's music hits. I truly believe it, and I truly mean it, that he is Johnny Smackdown. Believes in this brand. And Roman, that loss, switched that mindset of Roman. Getting a little bit more aggressive. Jumped Gargano after, like I said, jumped him after that match with Styles. This is going to be an all-time clash, though. The go-home show for Unforgiven. But you'd have to think the favorite's still Roman Reigns. Nobody likes this man. Bobby Lashley, the almighty, losing his hype man, Leo Rush. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. If you did not see this man in NXT, made his takeover debut against the Velveteen Dream, destroyed. Then, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe, yeah, I don't know who he fought afterwards, but I know he had a new challenger. But then, at TakeOver New Orleans, defeated Kenny Omega for the NXT Championship. A dominant NXT Champion at that fact. Got called up after SummerSlam. 
instantly in the main event scene. Picked up the Intercontinental Championship from Sami Zayn. Brought it over here to the blue brand. And ever since he lost Leo Rush, maybe that spark is gone. But is, but is that dominant Bobby Lashley still in there? We are gonna find out tonight. Will Lashley kinda get back on the winning train? Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley winner takes on Johnny Gargano at Unforgiven. And it is now official and the crowd instantly just booing, but Roman with the takedown. And Lashley feeling the effects, but Lashley hasn't been in a marquee match since that loss to Roman. And Roman went for some punches, but Lashley, the quickness of Lashley with a gut buster. Now it's Roman kind of feeling the effects and Lashley looking to slow the big dog down. But Roman seems to be powering through the aggressive side of Roman Reigns coming out tonight. But Lashley with a punch. I have no clue. I believe went for Larry. It did not get all of it. But Lashley. It's going to pick Roman up. And there comes the Lariat. And that might have knocked the win right out of Roman Reigns. <laughs> And Roman instantly gets up and just launches Lashley like a child. And a big boot sends Lashley back down. And Roman going to make sure Lashley stays down with those left hands. I went for it. Lashley kicked to the rib. Back elbow. He's going to follow it up with. Ref is down. Kind of was a the ref was kind of a barrier for Roman Reigns and just two forms putting down and look at that showing disrespect to Lashley. No Lashley able to reverse elbow to the top of the skull rebound off the ropes scoop power slam. I'm gonna. Now just try to wear out Roman Reigns. What a match this was, that was for the Intercontinental Championship. Goodness! Lashley just did the same thing that Roman did to him, but didn't even grab the torso, didn't grab the waist. Literally grabbed his arms and threw him over his head. And now Lashley is in control of this matchup. The almighty Bobby Lashley is heading to the top. That is such a shocker. Going for the elbow and got him right on the spine. And then now just going to make sure he got all of it there. Ah, and Roman folding down. Was this change of attitude enough to defeat the almighty Bobby Lashley? And another lariat as the ref begins to count. And Lashley playing into the crowd. The crowd is dead. The crowd does not care about this match. Two men that they hate. But Lashley's head bounces right off the ring post. And Lashley, no effects by it. Roman going to use the ropes to get back up. Lashley stalking him. And again, Lashley sending Roman on the outside. And once again, Roman, well, not once again, this time Roman throws him in. They're trying to get up, but what a right hand by Roman. And a little stare off and a leaping clothesline puts down Bobby Lashley. And Roman not done with a boot to the skull, looking to inflict damage to Bobby Lashley. And now Roman, the crowd behind him. What lariats to Lashley. Battle of the Behemoths. They went for it again. Overhead belly to belly, but Lashley able to get him right off of him. And now Lashley going to utilize the five count and wear down Roman Reigns. And Lashley Face first goes Roman Reigns. In the cover. 
and Roman kicks out. There is still some fight left in the big dog. I believe just went for the Dominator. Roman blocks, power bomb. And an uppercut, kind of winding Lashley. Lashley gonna respond with a suplex. Lashley not done yet. And a headbutt to the back of the neck. And Lashley just targeting everything, just doing, doing whatever he can to inflict damage to Roman Reigns. And a lariat again. And oh my god, ref, back Lashley off. Roman might be defenseless right now. Again, just digging the hand right into that shoulder. And once again, Roman sees the light. Who wants, who wants Johnny Gargano more? Lashley a little stunned. Uppercut puts him on the ropes. Flips him over. Lashley hangs on. Roman with the spear. Spear to the outside. Roman Reigns doing whatever it takes to regain. Back will get a chance to regain his Intercontinental Championship with a spear to the outside. It Lashley waves it off like it's nothing. And the ref continues to count and roaming and a throw him into the ring. Elbow. And Roman heading to the top this time. Taunting Lashley. Might be signaling for the end. Roman with a split. No! Lashley catches a backbreaker. And once again with the cover, but Roman kicks out. And now Roman gonna take a breather. Ah, oh, game of cat and mouse. And a clothesline sits Lashley back down. And the big dog is locked and loaded. This is really bad for Bobby Lashley. Superman punch. Roman falls into the corner. Gun and four. The second spear in this match. Got him. Shoots the half. One, two. Oh no. Roman Reigns is not finished with Lashley. Look at the set a statement to Gargano. And a second clothesline. And not even loading that cannon. I'm just gonna go right for it. Superman punch to an already battered Bobby Lashley. For Samoan Spike, Lashley got him in the dominator position. No, Canadian backbreaker. Lashley feel it, not Lashley, Roman feeling the effects. Roman breaks the grip. And Lashley once again sends Roman to the outside. And if I was Roman, I would be, I'd be getting in my head right now. Oh, and Lashley with his favorite pose. As I am told, day in and day out on Lashley's Instagram. But this isn't about Instagram, this is about a title shot at Unforgiven. Roman kick to the gut. Maybe went for another spear on the outside, but Lashley able to dodge this time. And once again, the crowd begin to rain in those boos. The ref once again begins to count. 
Romy gonna throw him in. Wait a minute. Roman in the corner, super male punch. Lashley is dazed. Roman usually sets up for the spear afterwards. Lashley able to fight off and once again the quickness of Lashley coming into play with a gut buster. Not finished. That is incredible. In this match, Lashley still has the strength to deadlift Roman Reigns and then drops that elbow. And for the kick, nobody home. Sending Lashley, wait for Superman punch. Lashley dodges that, kick to the back, connects, and the cover. And Roman Reigns able to get the shoulder up. And Lashley just getting anxious right now. And Roman gets out of the ring and Lashley's loving it. And once again bouncing his head right off the ring post. And now Roman just throwing, a, throwing around Lashley. And the ref demanding to get back in this ring. And that is what they are going to do. What a right hand. And Lashley able to get out of dodge. Wait a minute. Lashley! Dominator! The Dominator by Lashley. Good night, Roman. Roman Reigns able to get the shoulder up after a devastating Dominator. Wait a minute, the eyes in Roman. Lashley might have just made a huge mistake. Are we locked and loaded? Yes, we are. What a way to start this one off. And now Lashley reigning in the right hands. Not enough for Roman. Quick jab. Sending Lashley into the ropes. And Roman telling the ref to count. We are at a four. This might end in a count out. The crowd is behind Lashley. And Roman shaking his head no. They're going to get him out. They're kind of taunting Lashley with the right hand. Big boot connects. And Roman is livid. Superman punch. Spear connects and driven to the mat ref. Counting the three. Roman Reigns has a day with Johnny Gargano. The ref raising the hand. What a match. The big dog. No. Roman isn't finished. Roman Reigns not finished with Lashley. Is this the sight we will see at Unforgiven with Roman Reigns holding the Intercontinental Championship? was an incredible match but a kind of sad ending with Roman maybe putting Bobby Lashley on the sidelines but we have the Dusty Cup quarterfinals I believe could be wrong is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a 
combined weight of 446 pounds. Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, The Revival! The Revival. Reviving the tag division. Can they go to the semifinals of the Dusty Cup? Who was advancing to go to Unforgiven? But the revival have to get past these men. And the Usos. Of 479 pounds. Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. The Usos. Can they send the revival to the to the Uso Penitentiary? Just like the theme, the theme says, excuse me. Usos. The fan favorite tonight. Three match. Here we go. Wilder went for a collar and elbow tie up, but Jay with a snap suplex. I'm gonna go right on the attack. And dash Wilder, Wilder able to chop the knee and that's what they're all about. An ax handle drop right on the dome of Jay Uso. And Jimmy kind of getting in the face of Dash. A stomp for good measures. The Revival versus the Usos. The Dusty Cup. Winner of this match will go to Unforgiven to take on Kings of Wrestling. And the next SmackDown episode, which will pretty much be next week, will get a will be the finals of the Dusty Cup. And the crowd booing for some for Snapmare, perhaps and Jey Uso try to get something started, but right to the eyes. And Jimmy, the ref making sure Jimmy doesn't get involved. And the crowd booing. Revival doesn't care about the Dusty Cup. They just want those tag titles. When they rega regain those SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. And once again, just right on the attack. Dragon Suplex folding up Jey Uso. And Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder are in control. And strong Russian leg sweep. And he gets him back up and again. Right after the knee. And Jay's already clutching that left leg. And it got him up. Got him down with a stalling suplex. An arm drag. Is that enough to get the Uso started? Leaping headbutt. Oh, and look at Scott Dawson with a cheap shot. For a tag. And a forearm. And now Jey Uso. Not just going to get one in, but going to return the favor with two. What a double hand chop. And Jimmy Uso already chomping at the bit. Do not get on the bad side of the Usos. Oh, and a Pele right to the dome. And Scott Dawson wanted that to happen. And Scott Dawson kind of thinking otherwise. Back, suplex, connects, and just instantly popping right back up, and that is killing Scott Dawson inside collar and elbow. 
Not gonna have it, but after the knee. Gonna drop him hard with that DDT. And now Dash Wilder is back in. The two fresh men of this match and a stomp to the knee. And once again, gonna, no, thought he was gonna continue the attack on the knee. For a kick, took too much time. Discus forearm, nobody home. I'm gonna drag him away for, we'll kind of do a full 180 there. For an axe handle drop. For a punch, no. Elbow right across the jaw. And a gut buster. Gonna drop the elbow down. Jay also kind of needs that rest. Jimmy knows that. With a chop right on the you know, front spine. What am I thinking? A chop lays him down and say, let's go. Right into the corner. And now I'm going for the tag. Just like their daddy. Ooh. Got him. Right on the head. With the right hand. Wait a minute. And right again after the knee. Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson, their main, their prime target is those legs of yours. The second time with that axe handle drop. That's slowing Jimmy down. It this time connects with the right hand. What is this? Little gory special. Frequent tags. I always preach it in tag matches. Frequent tags wins you the match. Will help you in the long run. And that is what the Revival is looking like do is looking to be doing. And a chop right to the knee. Cover. Give it Jimmy a chance to give up. And Jimmy. Rebound on oh, the knee tweaked. The knee tweaked. Kick to the knee. Tiger. Bomb. Connects. Right hand. And already in a sleeper. Scott Dawson forced to break it up. For a right hand. Jimmy able to block. On oh, Jay Uso knows his brother needs a tag it again after the knee. And another tiger bomb for you, sir. And Jimmy's clutching at his knee. Power bomb connects. Gonna lift him up. Fireman's carry, takedown. Sure, the collar and elbow again. Scott Dawson throws him off. A right hand puts down Jay Uso. And after the knee. And a death lock in deep. Is Jay gonna tap? No, not even gonna be given a chance. Leg drop. No clue what he's thinking here. Oh, took too much time. Block the chop. Kick. It drops him hard. And that is not a good position for Scott Dawson. Tequila Sunrise. Tequila Sunrise. But Dash Wilder. Able to break it up in that, that grin on Jay's face. Has had enough of Scott Dawson's antics. Let alone Scott Dawson, but the Revival's antics. The continuous attack on the knee. Calling for him to get up.
Samoan drop, connects, and now just trip the leg. It's Scott Dawson just laughing, having a good time. Face first. I'm just gonna kind of stare at him, I guess, and a tag to dash. You just lure him in. The butterfly suplex. And the crowd loving this one. And I throw him back in. Is Jay gonna play with the crowd right now? Once again, who is going to Unforgiven to fight the Kings of Wrestling? And again, sends him out. Gonna chop him down. What was that? With her right hand dash, able to reverse. And a leg sweep. Dash Wilder right after the leg. No. Again! It's Jay this time screaming in pain. Went for the went right for the spine. But Dash not able not successful on that. And once again some mowing drop. This match has slowed down a bit. And we have a tag. Now trapped in the corner. Jimmy with a piercing forearm. Demanding him to get up. Jay gonna drop off a little bit. Back suplex. Wilder able to block it, turn it into a strong, forceful suplex. Drop kick. For a cutter. Super kick! Got him while it's hot. Dash Wilder just got hit with a super kick. Say it, bring it. Tag. And are we going to get a little ooh, so crazy? Uso splash. Connects Usos to go to Unforgiven. Scott Dawson just able. And you can see the disappointment on Jimmy's face. Wilder able to block again. Gory special. I thought the Usos punched our ticket to Unforgiven. And a moonsault by Dash Wilder. And Jay is winded. Hate to say it. But the Usos are winded. Another knee. And another super kick. Jogging it off. Uso splash. What? I believe. I believe if I am correct, Dash did get the shoulder up. That is what the ref is saying. Right hand Dash is winded. Has no clue what to do. Stomp to the chest again. Yeah, Dash is glazed over. Never mind. Got him with the final cut. Went for the hot tag. Step up. And now he's going to rock your world, Jey Uso. And again. Backbreaker. And Jey Uso powers out and Scott Dawson on the attack.
Gonna help his brother. And right now, this is just single-handedly attack on Jey Uso. But Jey able to fight him off. Big splash! And Scott is down! Scott can't help him this time! Tequila Sunrise! It is in deep! It dashes forced to tap as soon as Scott got there. The Usos able to invade the Shatter Machine. At the end of the day, Dash Wilder taps out to the, the Tequila Sunrise. Look at that. But what percent will the Usos be? At Unforgiven. Look at that. Went for that backbreaker there. But Jay able to avoid it. But this time, that time wasn't available. Look at that. That's right. In the back. The Usos are going to Unforgiven. Your tag team match for Unforgiven is confirmed. The Usos take on Kings of Wrestling in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Well, two epic matches, but a dream match in its own right. As we see John Cena taking on the Velveteen Dream. And I am proud to announce that John Cena's partner will let Greg Hamilton finish. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Cena just posted on Instagram, Twitter, every social media account he has. Well, probably not Cena, but the people who work for his social media has just announced that his partner for Unforgiven will be the immortal. Hulk Hogan. We got a taste of it at Royal Rumble. Cena's number one, Hogan number two, but at Unforgiven, they team up to take on Hulk Hogan's creation, the NWO, or revived creation, the NWO. But right now, Cena's gunning alone. We have to wait for Unforgiven to see Hulk Hogan. And John Cena team up to take on the NWO. Cena has no one in his corner tonight. But I was also saying a dream match. Everyone wants to see this one. People said this is a dream WrestleMania match. And wait a minute. Cena confused himself. And his opponent accompanied by Shinsuke Nakamura representing the NWO from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, Velveteen Dream. The NWO. The spotlight no longer on the dream. Now on the NWO, the New World Order. Cena took on these two last week. Cena did not pick up the win. But the crowd still behind Velveteen Dream. And here we go with your main event tonight. And Cena, kick to the gut. And Cena gonna utilize his strength fisherman suplex. And the Dream should not have pick a, picked a fight with John Cena, deadlift. Dream squirming, but cannot avoid that gut wrench. Once again, no. Dream with the Northern Lights. Cena gonna roll out. 
But Dream catches up with the crossbody. Didn't get all of it though. And the ref beginning the count. Cena with the right hand. Nothing is stopping Cena. Nothing's gonna stop the Dream from running away. And Velveteen with the Luthas press. And caught him with an elbow. And Cena trying to get up in the Dream mind games. And Cena going to play it back, but Dream not going to like it. And wait a minute. Dream. With a jackhammer. Is it over? It's Cena at a one. That move, in fact, took out Hulk Hogan. Took out Kevin Nash. Took out Scott Dawson. Took out Brock freaking Lesnar. And Cena just kicks out at one. It's Cena simply just throws him down. And now the dream is bleeding with Cena and Velveteen. A little thugonomics. Gonna roll out. And Velveteen able to block. Face first goes Cena. It's Cena's already on his feet. And look, it dream looks like he's seen a ghost, a deer kind headlights. Cena is heading to the top with the Velveteen Dream. It's gonna deliver a monstrous superplex. It's Shinsuke. Felt it. Fist drop by Cena. And if you did, if you skipped to this part and luckily got here, as I'm forgiven, Cena went right to Vince McMahon and it asked, well demanded actually, a tag team match against the NWO when it was granted. It's Cena's partner has been named Hulk Hogan, the creator of the NWO. It's Cena and Hogan looking to end it. And I'm forgiven, but Cena looking to kind of end it right now with two lariats and drop and dream with a Michinoku driver. Right kick to the gut. Dream gonna drop him. It gets Cena in an ankle lock. It's Cena. Kicks him off with ease. Oh, it just slaps Cena. Schoolboy was at mind games by the Dream. Cena turns it around. It's Cena with a right hand. It's Dream unable to hang on. And I'm going to get up if you don't mind. And Cena kind of changing his mind, actually. I'll sit right back down if y'all don't care. I'm not going to say don't mind. Cena dropping the elbow to the spine. Cena in firm control of this one. Nobody home on the drop kick. No clue what he went for, but Cena, Big Mac John's done it again. AA. Valvatine Dream kicks out. The Velveteen Dream kicks out, and the crowd is behind John Cena. Another gut wrench. Was the Dream ready? AA one more time, no! Back and forth, these two make go, drop kick. It's again nobody home. Cena with the headlock, never mind. Suplex. And Shinsuke can do nothing but watch right now. And a right hand takes down the Velveteen Dream. And once again, with that deadlift, gut wrench. And Cena 
Kind of stumbled. Ah, oh, we've seen this in the past. You can't see me. Five knuckle shuffle. It's Cena believes it's over. The Velveteen Dream. Able to kick out. It's Cena adjusting his jorts. A little winded, perhaps. Once again, gonna pick him up and drop him down. The back of Velveteen has to be in all types of pain. Went for a punch. Ducks that one. Cena off the ropes. Kick to the gut. And Cena with the kicks and a knee. And Cena put down the Velveteen Dream before Unforgiven. Maybe he can drops the Dream AA. And Cena puts down the Velveteen Dream. Strength in numbers came in effect last week Cena walks in it just destroys the Velveteen Dream it dream it's Shinsuke leaving Shinsuke a little ahead of the ram will that be the Cena I'm forgiven as John Cena and Hulk Hogan take on the new NW Oh!